What a memorable season for the 40-1 Spring to Caney Wildcats. Stacy Stroman's squad was fresh off a 15-point convincing win over San Antonio Reagan for their 40th consecutive victory, but the Wildcats would have their hands full against the Max Prep Sports number one team in the nation, Duncanville, in the Class 5A state championship game. Legendary girls Texas high school basketball coach Kathy Self Morgan was seeking her 915th career victory while her 39-1 Duncanville Pantherettes were trying to earn their seventh state title but first since 2003 in girls basketball. The team from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex came out on fire. Future Texas Longhorn Empress Davenport scored from three-point land to open up the scoring and before you know it, Duncanville was up 12-1 midway through the first quarter on another Davenport jumper. It seemed like I think the frustrating part for us was when we tried to be as aggressive, uh, we were in foul trouble. You know, we were in foul trouble the whole first half. And so it, it was just kind of a frustration for the kids, I think. Duncanville forced eight turnovers, which resulted in 10 points in the first quarter alone. This deal would turn into two points going the other way, and it was 14 to one Pantherettes. A timeout was in order, but there was no stopping what was about to become the most lopsided Class 5A state championship game in Texas state history. DeCaney missed their first 10 shots, and Duncanville made them pay with key rebounds and fast break points. Tasha Foman with the layup for two. She had 21 points. Foman would also show off her defensive skills with a steal and watch as she goes coast to coast with the layup, and she's fouled. The Wildcats were simply shell-shocked. The Pantherettes led 24-3 after one quarter. It's just my team pushing me, letting me know that I can do it. It's just teamwork that gets me to do play defense as well as I do. It's all defense. Um, those quick buckets came from easy steals. We put in a good team effort. Duncanville showed their athleticism on defense, fast breaks, even a behind-the-back pass to Davenport, who was named the Class 5A state title game most valuable player. She scored 13 of her 17 points by halftime, and it did not hurt that her future Longhorn head coach, Gail Guestencourse, had a front row seat at the Irwin Center. Yes, sir, I'm a Longhorn this year. It's an amazing award to get on my home court. It, it, it feels pretty good seeing her, Coach Huey, and uh, Coach Brown. DeCaney was just two of 19 shooting in the first half with 14 turnovers that Duncanville turned into 16 points. The Pantherettes continued the barrage from the outside, inside, and the boards. In fact, Duncanville scored 22 points off 22 turnovers and dominated the rebounding 46 to 23. You know, we've tried to do some half court trapping and stuff that uh, has allowed us to, that to not be a factor against us. but. Um, tonight, you know, they broke that pretty easily, and so we had to adjust and go to something else, and they just, I mean, it was inside a little bit. Um, I think we just needed to get the rhythm of the game and uh, get a feel for the game before we started actually going. The Caney Shante Nevin scored a bucket here to cut Duncanville's lead to 41 to nine, headed into the locker room, which was the lowest output for any Class 5A girls team by halftime in the history of the state tournament. And I told the kids, we were outsized, I think, in every single position. So we had to play good defense, we had to block out, and we had to get the boards. And it's the first team I think I've ever had where they'd rather be working together on defense and getting steals and handing off to somebody rather than just spotting up and taking their shots. The Wildcats were determined to save face and open the scoring after the break. Shantae Nevins for two, but it seemed like every time DeCaney would try to mount a comeback, Duncanville was there to answer. Tasha Foman for three from the corner, the inside game was also working for the Pantherettes. Double O Kiara Perry had eight first half rebounds. She took this inbound pass and scored underneath for two more of her 12 points. The Caney's Brianna Taylor wearing number 20 got all ball on this block, but seconds later, Wildcat leader Alexis Durley, who was headed to Cincinnati to play college basketball, fouled out early in the third quarter with only four points and her team down 48 to 14 a lead that would increase as Foman takes the pass off the steal and goes in for the highly contested layup. Duncanville would increase their lead to 58-16 when Davenport scored on a coast-to-coast -coast layup. Jaleesa Chappell showed off her shooting touch in the second half for DeCaney with the turnaround jumper. Chappell led the Wildcats with 12 points. Brianna Taylor opened underneath for another basket for DeCaney. Tasha Foman again would answer with a three to end the third quarter, and it was 61 to 20, Duncanville to start the fourth and final quarter. The Caney's Jaleesa Chapel continue to play with a purpose though, to steal, and Chapel goes all the way in for the layup. 
Chapel, who is only a junior, impressed Coach G as well as she stops and pops again for another deuce. Even though the score looked like how it was, then I still had to um, go all the way out. But it was just too little too late for DeCaney, who would fall 69-31. to 31. The Wildcats were just 8 of 39 from the field. Unfortunately tonight, we didn't have those kids step up and hit some shots. They just, the different pressure defense kind of affected us. The game was probably decided in the first quarter, but they continued to play and play together and not get frustrated. And um, so I yeah, I'm, I'm, couldn't be more pleased with the season. We played as a team. I love Coach Self. I love my team, and we won. I've, I've been really blessed to have some great teams at Duncanville and also at Westlake. Um, it's one of the best, and they are a state champion team tonight. Once again, your final score, 69 to 31. Duncanville knocks out DeCaney here in the state championship game in class 5A at the Irwin Center. But it doesn't overshadow the fact that the Wildcats had a fantastic season. After dropping their first game, they won their next 40 before losing this game to Duncanville. At the state championship here at the Irwin Center in Austin, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports, your leader in online sports coverage.